Howdy people. So I just bought this turkey baster at the dollar store. I am going to add some of this Pro Lube oil treatment into my Jeep. And but it says to add an ounce for every uh, quart of oil. This thing holds about six quarts of oil. So I'll do five or six ounces of this stuff. So I went around everywhere trying to find a turkey baster, found this one, and I was in line checking it out, and I'm like, there is no way in hell. So I took a Sharpie, and I marked the, uh, what it says is quarter, half, three quarter, and one ounce. Like, there's just no way in hell. I mean, I just don't see it. Like, for, sorry, for reference, that's a Sharpie. This is like way bigger around than a damn sharpie I'm supposed to believe that that's one ounce and this i found this inside i don't know if you can see in the bottom it says four ounces so i marked them roughly you know so we're gonna find out this whole volume there is only gonna fill this up to here so, also going to do an experiment with this Pro Lube. It says that you can, uh, well, from the videos I've seen online, you start it up with a glass of water on your engine, and then you let it run for like half an hour, and you see how much smoother it is. I mean, I know this stuff is really good, but I haven't ever tried it. So, I'm going to try that now, but what would you guys think if, like, I don't really have, I mean, I have a scale here, but it's, fluid ounces are different than, like actual weight so I don't I don't really know how to do it other than compare this to this because this is going to be fairly accurate accurate enough for what I'm going to do but we're going to find out here okay so I'm going to set this on the engine we will light it up a little and I'm going to fire this pig up and we will see what she looks like be right back okay Alrighty. Huh. And that actually feels pretty smooth when you're inside it, so it could maybe be a motor mount going out or something. You don't see it shake or anything but the water is a pretty good indicator so I will get back to you let me add the stuff and then uh, we'll see what she does okay so I'm gonna add this pro lube probably can't do this one-handed be right back Let's see. can't even get my pinky in there okay all right Got her open. I'm gonna try to add about two ounces. Oop. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to take only one ounce out of that and see how much this fills up. So. Holy balls. No freaking way. Wow, I was wrong. Oh my god. God, that's so deceiving. That is so deceiving. Okay, that's an ounce right there. Unbelievable. I'm mind blown. That just looks like so much more volume than than that right there. Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add uh, five or six ounces to the engine, and then we'll try that experiment again. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the... 
we are going to add five or six ounces. All right. How these YouTubers do this shit. Let me see here. Okay. A lot of respect for the YouTubers that make these videos. All right. Come on, baby. Doesn't really want to suck it up very well. Okay, so there's one. One. Anyway, this is probably going to be boring to watch, so. Okay, so I've got, I already dumped two ounces in. I'm going to do about six, so. Well, I'll do five, so this should be about five. So let's see how bad I fuck this up. Not as like honey like as the Lucas is. I don't know if you guys watch the TikTok videos for these Pro Lube guys. There's a like a grandson and a grandfather, and they test all the different types of oil, and then they have a bearing spinning with like a fulcrum arm with weight on it, and they put a few thousand pounds of force on it with all different types of oil, and it inevitably ends up like screaming and grinding on the bearing, and then they add their Pro Lube stuff. And then it quiets right down, so anyway, I'm just going to try this five ounces. I'll uh, fire it back up and let it run for a little bit, and then we can see. I can show you guys if, if it's idling any smoother. I'm also going to put this in my front diff, rear diff, and maybe the transfer case. So, because I got some whining going on there. This thing has 100. 35,000 miles on it, and luckily I don't have the Hemi tick yet. That's what I'm trying to prevent, so we will see. Okay, I am in first. I'm just trying to get the RPMs up a little bit. I'm just going through the neighborhood here. These Hemis don't oil very well at idle, so I'm just kind of forcing it to be what the hell we got going on here. Anyways, like I said, I'm just trying to force it to be, you know, three or four thousand RPM, something like that. Why this phone doesn't want to focus? I'll get on it. Christmas today. Doing all kinds of construction right here. I'm tearing up this whole corner. They just put in this Mr. Car Wash. Ooh. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna beat these guys. So this is the next day that I'd probably only put another three miles on it. Honestly, the top doesn't look like it's rattling as much. 
because it is jiggling around and it is moving on the bottom, so. I don't know. I guess I won't put this video out until I've had a little more time. The top is definitely less ripply. I would say. I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch the other video, but I think she's slowly getting better. I'll uh, update you guys one more time before I make this video, hopefully tomorrow or something. So we're going to fire her up. And put her glass of water up there. See if it's perfectly smooth. Let's see here. Um, I'm honestly not able to tell much of a difference. You guys will have to be the judge, honestly, because I I can't tell. To me, it looks about the same. Well, sorry for that anticlimactic conclusion, but that's a wrap. <laughs>